What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of the Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice. I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and then also validate the victims, survivors, and thrivers of said disorder. Uh, today's episode is going to be about arguments on pause. Why narcissists and toxic people, a lot of them, do not like to finish arguments and things like that. So, if, you, if you're if not new here, or if you are new here, y'all know I've been in psychotherapy, dealing with narcissistic personality disorder for the last five years, right? Um, one of my main complaints, I know this gonna sound stupid, it's not really a complaint, but one of my main complaints and issues that I told my therapist about that I was having my, with my wife was the fact that we would be having good times, right? We'd be having good nights, good evenings and things like that. A good date night, just chilling, hanging out, just having a great, great time, right? Laying on the couch, chilling, you know what I mean? It's just like we just chilling. You can hear like the little, you can hear the little, the little pitter patter of cheeks about to get clapped. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she would bring up something from six months ago. I'd be like, she's like, hey, can we, can we talk about this uh, thing from six months ago? And I would immediately get furious. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds childish, but seriously, I would get furious almost immediately because I just feel like she was ruining the night and things like that. You know what I mean? I just feel like she was ruining the day and stuff like that. So I would tell my therapist, I'm like, so why do we keep having these same arguments over and over and over again? And my therapist was just like, well, because you didn't finish the argument the first time. You know what I mean? The argument, you didn't, the argument remained unfinished and things like that. So she wanted to finish it. You thought the argument or the conversation or whatever you thought it was finished originally when you told you when you probably put it on pause so hey like you probably said something like hey let's talk about this later hey can we can we talk about this tomorrow hey can we you know can we now it's not a good time you say things like that you know they expect it to finish it later on but you didn't have the anticipation on finishing it you for you it was finished when you said that because you think a lot of narcissist people feel the same way. You think that if you don't talk about it again, the issue should automatically go away. Like a lot of narcissists and toxic people think it should, you know what I mean? The issue should go away immediately. Like, like why are we still arguing about this? Why are we still talking about this? Why are we still considering this and things like that? Why is this still an issue? You know what I mean? So that's how the mindset works when you deal with narcissists and toxic people. Like we think that tabling the issue or putting it off means that it should go away. You know what I mean? Yeah, I saw, I'm sorry I saw y'all. My, uh, I was at my office today, and they started uh, <laughs> they started cutting a tree off, a tree branch on top of the building, so I had to come home. And I thought somebody, I thought somebody was in the backyard just now. But like my therapist was saying, we think not talking about the issue anymore makes it done. You know what I mean? We think that like, hey, can we can we talk about this later? That's the end of the argument. <laughs> that's the end of the conversation. That's the end. That's the end of the discussion right there. When you deal with the, when you deal with narcissists and toxic people, like this is the end right here. Where I like to say, you as a non-narcissistic person, you expect to finish it later on because you know we, we, we there was a promise in there or an agreement to finish the argument later on. But as a narcissist, no, we don't want to finish it later. On. It's, it's done now. Why can we? It's done now. You know what I mean? We don't want to talk about it. And avoiding those conversations, typically, like, the typically those conversations and the arguments and stuff like that, the narcissistic people tend to avoid are ones where they are, we are being held accountable. So we don't want to be held accountable now or later. So we just put, put it on pause. And we put it, well, typically, so we, so it's on pause for you. It's over for us. You know what I mean? So it's over for us, but it's on pause for you. So we we this over. I don't have no, I have no intent on talking about it again, y'all. Just don't, I don't want to talk about it right now. It means I don't want to talk about it ever. It's done. It's over with. It, don't bring it up again, and especially don't bring it up in good in moments of in good times. Like we're chilling and hanging out or whatever. Why are you bringing it up right now? Why did you ruin the mood and things like that? So I asked my therapist, and she was just like, because you were finally in a good mood, and she figured now would be now better than ever. <laughs> now would be better than ever. I know, I know a lot of people experience very similar things when you deal with narcissistic people. Like now is better than never. Like just, I mean, if you're going to do it, do it right now. Because now, because you're in a good mood, your energy is good right now, might as well talk about it now. Instead, when you come in the house angry from work, angry from working in the warehouse for eight hours today, and the boss get on your nerves, you know what I mean? So you don't want to talk about it then, why not talk about it right now? You know what I mean? And that's how it goes, y'all. I mean, that's, that's part of the process when you're dealing with narcissistic people. Once they say the argument is over, once they finish, once they say pause right now, 
they're like pretty much the premise of this is right here y'all is the fact that you can't there's not there's never a good time to finish an argument with a narcissist there's never a good time to have a conversation with a narcissistic person so you might as well just have it when you want to have it so lee when do we have it whenever you feel like the most comfortable having it just have it because this is one of those situations where you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't so i tell people pick the damned choose the damned that makes you feel better <laughs> you know what I mean? and always use discretion Use discretion when you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people. Just use discretion, y'all, because you're da if you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, and that narcissistic person is going to be irritated either way, sometimes they can get physically, you know, they can get they can put their hands on you and things like that. So you have to be careful with that and whatnot. You know, and it's not just significant others and spouses. This can be your this can be, you know, the kids, the children of narcissists as well. Scared to talk have to, you know, scared to have a, a conversation with their parents. Putting the, putting the conversation with their parents on pause and things like that because they feel a certain type of way. You know, dad is going to yell at me if I talk to him right now. Dad is going to, mom is going to scream at me if I talk to them right now. And you know, narcissistic people, all, all narcissists don't scream and yell. Some of, them, some of them will just give you the silent treatment. You know what I mean? Some of them will just go completely silent on you and stop and stop dealing with you and stop talking to you. They'll, they'll, stone, you know, they'll stonewall you and act like you don't exist. You, become, you pretty much become Casper the ghost to them and things like that. So you always like I said, if you're dealing with narcissists, there's never a good time to have an argument. There's never a good a good time to have a discussion with them. So you might as well just have it when it, the best time for you. You know what I mean? There's never. I mean, there's a hard. There's there 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 are better times than sometimes are better than others. But you know what I mean? But there's never a good time, which is what I'm saying. Because sometimes you know if they're already yelling and screaming about something else, you might don't you might not want to antagonize them and bring up something else from the past. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Because like even me now. Even my self-awareness, even in my years of self-awareness and work that I put in on myself, even where I'm at right now, it's still not a good, I mean, it's better now, y'all, I, I promise you. I would rather hear it right now than to have to hear it later on. Give it to me right now while we're in here talking and, and chilling than to hear it later on. And I was like, make, like, the thing about being a self-aware narcissist is you have to open yourself up to vulnerability, not only, not only on social media like I've done, but also in my real life and in my, with my friends and my family, my dynamic, what I have going on right now. You know what I mean? So you have to be able to, you know what I mean, do what you want to do and things like that. You have to, you know, you have to be able to empower yourself and to, to, to take yourself on a journey and things like that. You have to be able to, you have to, you know what I mean? You have to empower yourself. You have to be as strong as you want to. Like I said, you might as well just have the conversation when you want to have it because there's never a good time to have a conversation with a narcissist, y'all. And it's horrible. And like I said, it's horrible, especially if you have kids with them. You have to, you have things that you want to talk about. With, talk about uh, You have important things that you want to talk about and discuss about the kids, but you have to get approval from this narcissistic person. You have to deal with them. You know, if you, Especially if y'all are not together anymore. Especially if you're not together with them, oof. There is really never a good if you are not together, if y'all are separated, divorced, whatever, y'all broken up, there is really not ever a good time to have a conversation. Because your your voice, your the your name popping up on their cell phone or whatever is already gonna set them off and make them feel bad. It's already gonna put them in a bad mood. Cause this is how I was a long time with my oldest son's mom. I would see her name pop up and I'll automatically get into a bad mood. Like, oh my God, what does she want? You know what I mean? I'm not like that now, y'all. I still see her name and feel a certain type of way, but I answer it respectfully. Just like before I hopped on this video, she called me. I was just like, you know, they have to remind me about stuff. I'm forgetful, y'all. I'm forgetful when the stuff when the stuff is not super important to me, but they have to remind me about stuff sometimes. And I had to just, it's something small. I'm like, I, but I was respectful. <laughs> I'm work. look, thank God for personal development. I've been working on myself. You see what I'm saying? Even my uh, uh, oldest son's mom would acknowledge that. I tried to get her to come on here and do a video about co-parenting, but she don't want that. Uh, she don't want people to see her face on here and stuff like that. Yeah, she, not, not that she don't see her face. She's just nervous because she's not used to talking in front of so many people and things like that. I told her, I was like, just go. I told her to go live on my channel. I like, go live on my channel one day and talk, answer questions about uh, co-parenting with the self-aware narcissist and see what they think. You know what I mean? She'll, she'll like I said, I already know she's gonna talk some junk. She'd be talking trash. She, she's not afraid to talk shit, which is cool. You know what I mean? But. Like I said, y'all, there's never a good time to have a, a long-winded conversation with them. Like, you just, like, and it's because narcissistic people, the, the, the communication skills of a, of a, of a grown-ass narcissist is almost equal to talking to, a, like, a 7, 8, 9, 10-year-old. I, I tell you, when you do try to have a conversation with them, no matter how important the topic, you kind of have to dumb down the way you speak to them. You kind of have to talk, don't talk to them, don't, don't, don't antagonize them and talk to them like they're kids, but you have to think like you're talking to a child. 
You mean think like you're talking to a child, keep it simple and straight to the point, but don't talk to them like you're talking to a child. Don't just sit there and look at and listen to me talk to you like this. You have to do it like this, okay? No, don't do that. Talk to them like you're dealing with a young person. You know what I mean? But be respectful. I'm just telling you. I'm just. I know people are just like. Well, are you trying to tell us to respect the narcissist who treated us terrible? No, that's not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to get y'all communication skills. How to talk to these narcissistic people, y'all. But anyways, y'all. Let me hop, hop off this thing. Toronto, Canada. The next meetup, meet and greet, is in Toronto, Canada, on um, November the 19th, 2022. You might be looking at this video next year. November 19th, 2022. Uh, go to Narc Avengers N A R C Avengers dot com slash Toronto. For more information, get registered up, y'all. I'm flying in from North Carolina, so we will be we're gonna be doing another meetup in North Carolina here pretty soon, uh, in a couple months. Uh, maybe Florida and some stuff like that as well. New York, uh, California. We we gonna be moving around, y'all. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.